Hey y'all, it's me, Stop Drop and Roll On, and I'm checking in. It is um, Sunday, and um, I'm looking because Pierre just came through here. There he is, going out there with some little chicken legs. You might have saw him, you might didn't. If you didn't, count your blessings. Because these little legs are just as rusty. He looked like he getting ready to get fried. <laughs> Meaning, like, ashy. But anyway... We sitting out here, I'm outside. Um, yesterday I went to my meeting and um, even though our meeting was about getting in movement, you know, on it, like not the regular going and doing aerobics and um, you know, running and treadmilling and all of that, it was talking about, um, you know, there are other ways to do activity other than what I just mentioned. And so, um, again, I'm, I might need to get Weight Watchers to ask me to come and work uh, because the topic was, again, after I had kind of came to the conclusion. And I, I mean, and I ain't trying to sound like, you know, like, dang, you know, you know what I, if I knew it all, guess where I wouldn't be going? I wouldn't be going to Weight Watchers because I wouldn't be needing to go. So, but um, I think it just has to do with age, you know, because at some point in my mind, I've said this before, I am, I, I can see myself running, but I also know that it's probably like not the best thing for me to be doing right now. It doesn't mean that at some point I, you know, later on down the road, when I get where I'm trying to go, as far as weight is concerned, that I won't, you know, like be doing um, slogging, which I call slow jogging or something like that. We'll see, you know, but right now, what I'm doing is fine. And so, um, Pierre is just doing the most. I'm going to let y'all see what I see. Maybe y'all can, there he is. I hope I ain't making y'all dizzy moving around and stuff like this. But he's trying to move the 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 holes from over there. And our yard look kind of raggedy right now because the yard men, they have been coming like every other week. But now they probably going to have to start coming every week because we've been getting rain. And as you can see, the sun is out um, and everything. But uh, back to what I was saying. So, um, reason why I'm saying they might want me to come and, like, do some little writing of the weekly pamphlets and stuff for them, because, you know, I kind of, I'm a little ahead of them a little bit. And, um, so anyway, I, um, had, last weekend, we got out here, and, um, my, y'all, as y'all can, might not know, like, if I pan this way over the fence, see that right there? That's my old garden. Okay, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but my old garden is over there, meaning the boards. We, those, they served me well, you know, what we paid for them and everything, and they was untreated cedar, and we, you know, they lasted mm, probably like maybe about four or five years, and, uh, but last year, they just decided, look, this clown ain't stopping, so we gonna stop. So, the boards just broke up and everything and then you know it was just like nothing is going on and uh and it just got me so disgusted because it looked it looked like some doggone rogues had just came back here and decided we gonna bust boards today and that's what it looked like and i just didn't really get out here and do a lot last year except for i did find a two-year-old onion and an undone carrot that uh farmer brown uh, had left back here and didn't harvest and because of neglect they didn't grow not properly anyway I went back to show y'all that because it looked like an aberration that's a good idea it doesn't have to go down just put it put it either run it through there and put it to the well you probably don't want it that close to the fence um, but you can't just sit it up there on the ledge and just let it. Anyway, he's trying to situate, excuse me, y'all. But anyway, um, so this is what we, we did. And I'm getting ready to show it to y'all. He's trying to get <coughs> the sprinkler system, sprinkling 
my little manual system set up for the days when the sprinkler head don't come on because some of this stuff requires some additional stuff and so but i want to show y'all the, the beds that appear my brother found the beds he found them for his own little side garden and then i saw them when we went over on easter and i was like yes so they went um well you probably should we move the garbanzo of bean dirt see i'm giving away my stuff i'm gonna tell y'all show y'all i'm trying to grow garbanzo beans too i'll be back and show them to you okay you all right okay he made a little sound you know you gotta keep them make sure everything's right you gonna try here let me let me make show the people the garden first before you wet it and um anyway though we did this last weekend in the middle of the week pierre the beginning of last week pierre put my boxes together and then on sunday we went and got um like 21 bags like big bags of dirt and filled each box takes seven bags of dirt and then we have a partial box this partial box is where my um sage is and i'll show it to you that plant is finely wooded it's three years old i'm real proud of it now if i can get me a rosemary bush going um i'll be really glad this rosemary i got down here right now look like kindling i don't even know but i'm gonna do a little bit more reading and, and come up with the come up but anyway i'll be right back i'm gonna flip this camera around and i'm gonna show y'all my little garden set up for the year hey, 20 so i'm back now this we have to, we're gonna have to put some because the boxes kind of moved this way so we're going to have to put some more pea pebbles down because some of them washed away some of them have gotten compacted see that's some there and so these are a little different they're actually uh they kind of snap together except for right there when you want to stack them and that's what we did we stacked them this is my um this is my sage and it's like I said, it's it's wooded now. This is actually, if I come close, you'll see. This is like, this came from a little bitty plant, and so it's three years old now. And I use this at Thanksgiving time and everything. Y'all, it ain't nothing like fresh. This is these two little plants right here. They rosemary and they need prayer. Okay, and I'll be yeah. This is my mint from last year. As a habit from growing up, I don't put mint over in my beds because mint is invasive. It will take over. And so I just keep it contained in this little galvanized thing. And um, honestly, um, this piece here I just put in here because this one didn't come back last year. So I had to go buy a new one. And it's uh, lemon balm is what this is. This is spearmint and these over here are chocolate mint. Okay, and this box here need some water basil we've been having high winds for three days and the deal is is that with along with the winds your soil dries out but the wind was so doggone high and then it got a little cool so i gotta you know come in here and, and do some things so i got some time right here this right here is deal because i i eat fish chives and then i got some onions kind of spread it around basil and then parsley and this right here is a jalapeno pepper. And these are little, like, they're not cipollini. Um, I think it's cipollini. That's not what those are, but they are sweet onions, which means they'll be short and compact. They won't be round, but they are white onions. This right here is just the old sprinkler that appears. That's going to be my thing, uh, my setup for when the sprinkler heads don't come on. Because um, they'll be on the schedule. Tomato plant. This one right here... Um, this is just a regular tomato plant that's going to make like little small ones. And this is an heirloom tomato. It's a non-GMO and it's big rainbow. And that's what it's going to look like. I, I can, I'm excited to see what that's going to do. 
we got some hot Anaheims back there. I think it said the Scoville on that is like 40. The Scoville is the heat. The heat element of it is like 40 or 40,000 something or something like that. I'm not really sure. Cayenne peppers. And then, again, I, I did some more peppers back here. And Pierre did a lot of this um, as far as putting my boxes and stuff together. And then we came out here and planted together. This is kind of our uh, thing that we doing together. Um bell pepper plant another bell pepper plant one i think is red one is green um and then we got some bright lights uh and then i got a bug on me no you didn't well you ain't gonna do it no more anyway um these are bright light switch chart i only got two of those a kale and then i kind of broke it up because it was who you know this particular people whatever they did they put them all together now why would you bring yourself over here it's a little finch he just came and got on the fence he trying to see what's going on um <clears throat> pierre likes collard greens i for the most part do not but this is his little thing that's what he wanted and then we gonna try because i never grow them i always grow mustard and turnip greens he eats them, but he, this is what he really likes. And I'm going to try to learn to like them. And then I have some squash here. One squash plant, which I'm going to train to go up. Because squash trails all over. It. It's like a cucumber. But I'm going to train it as it, you know, matures. I'm going to train it where it'll go up. And hopefully this thing right here will support it to a point where it will you know, be able to hold its own. And I'm going to walk back up here. And this is what I mean by the pea pebbles and everything. And, like, all of this stuff right here, that's that allergen stuff that blows. Um, I got some pots up there, which um, this blue one right here, that's the one that, not not that one, because I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some flowers in that one. But this one right here, that one right there is the one that I'm going to put, these two clowns right here in and these are i have never ever ever grown garbanzo beans matter of fact i haven't ever seen garbanzo beans uh period out for plants wise and so i got two of them and information about them is um there it is right there so if it's something you're interested in and but i'm since these are drought tolerant and everything that i'm growing over over here is pretty much not it's going to require water it's going to be counterproductive from something's going to die so i'm going to put the garbanzo beans over here where they can get the water that they need but not get too much water and die out because i just want to see what they're going to do but i think that it's an interesting little plant and they say the peas come off the the top of them here's the little bud here the little flower and it's just kind of dainty looking i'm just i'm gonna read up on this because this is something new to me and so um i'm interested to see how this works out but this is what a garbanzo bean plant looks like y'all and i'll keep you posted i mean if it don't work i got some cans of garbanzo beans in there in the pantry so hey it is what it is but um i just wanted to kind of show y'all this has been my uh what we've been doing for the past two three weekends well two weekends this is weekend number two um i should say since easter um just kind of working on it in phases and now we got it you know and so now it's time for the sun to do his job and for me to do my job and i'll keep y'all posted so this is my garden 2018 tomorrow we got people coming out here to do a estimate because we got to get the fence it's back over that way looked at and replaced and stuff but this is just the way it is and um i will talk to you all later